Hey everybody, I'm Blitz. Welcome to a brand new game called Champions of Antaria. So Champions of Antaria is an action role-playing game crossed with a base building game where you get elements of like Diablo where you're going through a dungeon using your special attacks and abilities to kill off enemies and then you bring the resources home to build up a base, kind of like a civilization, to expand your territory and your nation to complete the end game. Uh, this is also a sponsored video, so keep that in mind as we are watching it. There is a link down below in the video description that shows uh, how to play the same demo that I'm playing on. This is the, the beta build. The game comes out on the 30th of August, and this demo runs from the 17th through the 30th, and they're doing some giveaways on the, uh, the you play forums that are going on. So if you do, or through that and Facebook, I believe it is. So if you are interested in playing the demo, go ahead and check out the link. Uh, it's pretty easy to find right down there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get going in this game. Uh, we're gonna play on normal, and I'm not gonna skip the prologue because it's very dialogue heavy, uh, which is which is kind of hard to do, but it's got a lot of uh, backstory in it. So I don't want you guys to miss out on that. And then we're gonna jump into the, basically the intro small, tutorial. Like these things do, just the three of them at the beginning. Vargas, a former sergeant-at-arms of the Crown Legion, turned mercenary when the Legion fell apart. Now he's a lost warrior looking for a just cause. Which is fancy bollocks talk, for he wanted a really good fight! <laughs> Brother Anselm, a wandering warrior monk, not the type to sit by your sickbed. He was cast out of his Frostbeard tribe on account of having committed an unspeakable crime. He went vegetarian. There's nothing he likes more than a good stiff carrot, and calling down the lightning with his huge hammer. In a peace-loving and deeply spiritual way, obviously. Nusala. Tired of picking sand out of everything, this former desert warrior left to travel the world, the bits without sand. She found acceptance without judgment, traveling with the other two, while they liked that she could hit a fly in the unmentionables at 200 yards. Each of the three had come from Antaria. Each had their reasons to leave. Now they all heeded the siren song of home. Well, I say that. There was also the widely reported unpleasantness with the Duchess of Threepvale, a basket of winter vegetables, and a missing chess piece. Anyway, Anselm remembered this place, but times change. Ah, now. Visit beautiful Antaria. Come for the troll-infested mountains, not to mention forests full of goblins and bandits. Stay for the picturesque burnt-out ruins and bleached skeletons. Oh, and more bandits. So, that was the welcome they had. That suited them just fine, because there's nothing a champion likes more than the opportunity for a good old hero pose. So we had a little bit of a backstory. I think this is interesting here. Saving is okay. Play your single player game the way you want to. Nobody's watching you. Hmm. Sad. Sad day. Anyway. Oh, more, more dialogue. Well, that was short. Again? All this screaming and running starts to get old. Do you think it's the pose? Too much, perhaps? It was rather impressive. We should ask when we catch them. You know, beat an answer out of them. Okay, so we can click and drag to select. Let's do that, and then it's right click to move. Pretty easy. Now the arrow keys are movement around, and then WASD are actually abilities that these guys have. Uh, and moving the edge of the cursor to the screen also does that. Most like most um, games point and click. Um, the WASD kind of threw me off, but I, I don't know if you can rebind those. I, I guess I did look. Well, those bandits made quite the mess of this place. They really do deserve a good beating. There's just no excuse for untidiness. Hmm, we should split up. Find them before they bring reinforcements. Onwards. So those guys split up. Uh, objectives, we've got a first objective and a sub-objective too. So, our uh, main objective is make them pay. We can approach the obstacle, destroy the obstacle, and then find and defeat the bandits. So, uh, these main make missions them. have... Um, different Smash objectives and bonus objectives you can do. Can push on. 
So we're going to right click and do that. This is one interesting thing in the game is, uh, see these things here? There's a relation to elements. The, so we have metal. Our, our knight here is metal Vargas. And then that is nature. So metal is effective against nature and it affects or it inflicts critical damage. So it goes clockwise around the tree. So nature, um, metal is critical against nature, which is critical against lightning, which is critical against water. And then water is better than fire and fire melts metal. Uh, the other way is also true. You can see the way little little mouths are pointing to eat them. The other way is also true where um, you don't want the bad guys to do the same thing and then it's dampening. So nature doesn't do very well against um, metal. We'll see that. I think that'll tell us here pretty soon. And there's a bad guy up here. There's a mini map and camera. I'm already going ahead and do that. Here we go. The first enemy. He's going to get wrecked. At last. May you prove a worthy foe. Okay. So our abilities, we can stand. There's uh, this thing, which is the shield charge. It, uh... If we, if we do this, we can see that the dotted line on the side is like a, he walks and then he goes through the shield charge. So we're going to do that. And he sees me as an enemy and we can hit space bar to go. So it is a single player game and uh, you can pause time and, and rebalance. So once we get our party of three back up and going, you can kind of plan out your moves a little bit and uh, do the, the objectives and these things right. There's the pause mode there. And then we can break down another plant plant is dead. This guy will be dead. Oh, he's going to let out, uh, looks like spiders. Yep. Yes, I will Okay. Go. We got to watch the enemies. And now the, the queuing of the abilities. So we can, we can queue this, we can attack, and then if we wanted to move that, but see how that goes over here? And he's going to charge now, which is nice. And then he'll come back and, and do some more stabbing on the spiders. Get dead spider. So he is, uh, these spiders are fire, and fire eats the metal, which is not good. Uh, what does it do? Oh, it, it showed what it did right there. I didn't Nusala. have time to read it. So Nusala is this character down here that we're going to be introduced to. And she is the bow, the, yeah, she's got the bow, the archer, I guess that's a better way to put it. Game pause, watch out. Just go ahead and do that. So she is, um nature and it's neutral against water so just doing nor normal damage to it and yep and then we can do we can use this move which is her piercing arrow hunting shot does 39 damage to all enemies in that line so i did 33 there i thought it said 39 hmm. i guess you must have some other resistance uh these arrow charges are coming up and oop, here, here's this guy uh, the arrow charges will queue up another skill. Well, we can do a shield charge. Kaboom! Nice. You're not laughing anymore. <laughs> well, this is odd. He did that without waking up. Turn around, Vargas. <laughs> Giant troll lady. Hello, troll lady. Grunting, really. Why can we never oh. find an educated opponent? And then we have the vegan brother. monk here, too. I shall deliver a sermon with my fists. Mm-hmm. Oh, look at all these guys. So we have metal, we've got water, and two nature dudes. So the nature, oh, here we go, it's matching the elements. We're going to try to do the best we can with it. Obviously, we're going to miss things. And there are some crowd control abilities, like the shield charge. So we want you to mainly attack the water. We want you to attack uh, who? It's kind of neutral against that. I guess you're gonna attack the plant guys. Let's, let's group them up. This might be a better idea. And then we'll charge through them. And then you're you're gonna attack this one. No, that's the worst one to attack. Attack. Uh, attack the plant people. There we go. So now, oh, how about we do one of these? Kaboom! Nice work. And now you can just regularly attack like that. Ooh, that was a really good hit. Oh, he's got a leech life. This little turd nugget needs to die. Okay, as your skills back up, and you can cycle through them with F1, 2, and 3. F, F1, F2, and F3. Okay, water's down. Good. That's done pretty well. We, we could have done a little bit better on that, I think. But we won! That is the basics of the tutorial. It didn't take much to deal with those bandits. They ran off yelling the usual threats. I'll tell the boss about this. My brother's bigger than you. Meanwhile, our heroes were a bit stuck. 
With bandits, as with so much else in life, there's always the chance that there actually is a big brother or two. Deciding to head for a nearby town, Brother Anselm remembered, they wondered, how bad could it be? Well, actually, pretty bad. Really bad. Just bad. But there was one shining light in all this darkness. One ray of hope, one thing that the forces of evil ranged against the champions and the people of Anteria had not reckoned with. Me. As you can see, I was in a bit of a pickle. Do please resist the hanging around jokes. Having seen a bunch of beaten bandits come running past, soon followed by this lot, even I could put two and two together and see an opportunity. I called them over. They were justifiably suspicious. I mean, there I was, at pillory, with no one seeming to help. What would you think? I pointed out the people would have helped me, only they were a miserable, malnourished lot, tired of being beaten half to death by the bandits that had hung me up there. I knew Randall, leader of the local scallywags, was away for a time. I told the champions that, and outright asked a favor. Could they help us get the town knocked into shape so we could defend ourselves and maybe help with the bandits? Mind you, wasn't much they could do for me. They cut me down, but those stocks, they were old magic. I was stuck until they could find the key. Funny how that didn't tip them off. Oh well. In return for a place to stay for a while, and a chance to show off what they could do in front of an audience, the champions agreed to help out. Chapter 1, A New Home, in which the champions of Anteria return home and help build the village. Bring it on. This is Anteria. Here lies our once beautiful village, and it will shine again because of you so... Um, yeah, thanks. Now then, let's look at how you can help. So I go to the village. So this is the village. I guess this is the main map. This is Anteria Incognito, meaning we, we don't really know what it is. And you can see all these different zones. So there's like one there. There's maybe one or two there. We got this guy with a windmill. There's a little zone over here. Some sort of island down here. So that's, that's the main map. There's also, I guess we'll get into it a little bit more. We need to go into the village itself. And I guess we click on the village. That's the castle. What do we have there at our disposal for our little hobby project? Okay, so we got our resources at the top. We have one building material. The next day we get oh, nothing. That's not a lot, is yeah, it? We don't have that Soon many. We will run out of build. Luckily, I so, know how we to need to build a house for a quarry worker. I'm going to kind of just go through it. You guys don't need to listen to everything. We can click on this. We can go in here. Uh, that is our main castle-y thing. And then we can build a quarry worker's hut. So we're going to build on this. And we're going to go to basic, and then it's going to bring us to this little area across the chasm thing. We can place down these buildings into the rooms, and it builds them up pretty quickly. Amazing how you can build an entire quarry worker's workshop in, like, one day. Perfect. Yep. Now, it will be some time before we get the new resources. Let's call it a day. So that's what we? happens. At the end of the day, we get, uh, we'll get 15 building material by the end of the day. So we can go back here and we can click on this. This takes us to the next day. You can see the time goes through. One full what? day has passed oh, and now we have some great. banditos that have Look, showed up. The surviving bandits have launched a counterattack. They'll be here soon. The They'll fight. attack in one day. Let's go to our village. Unless we go to them first. If that makes sense. Let's go to next. They have the power to restore some Unfortunately, of the apothecary's workshop was destroyed. Because Luckily, would... we have some building material again. And now we can build an apothecary, or we can go to this one, which is the general buildings, then apothe apothecary. It's a tough word for me to say. Apothecary. Yep. Click on that. It'll build up nice and fast. Kabooya. Looks like a smiley face, doesn't it? Wonderful. Now the apothecary can craft us some nice little... So we need to go in here and we welcome, need to craft welcome, welcome. some things. So we can do one or two, or we can go to this and say, hey, we need, we need ten. We'll just craft up ten, and she's gonna go through them. Uh, good job. Yeah, now it's time to deal with those bandits. 
All right, guys, so I went ahead and I skipped a day two. You can see it's day three up there. Uh, it was more kind of tutorial-based missions on, on going and, and cleaning out the bandits that had, had showed up. Uh, I wanted to show you guys more of a, a real mission, and we're going to do that. Um, as soon as we build up, it says up here our main objective is to get our water supply running. So we need to wa unlock the water carrier's hut and then build a water carrier's hut. So um, that's kind of in uh, something cool. We use our renown, so you get renown by going through the missions. Use your renown to go into the skill tree. And uh, the skill tree has all of these different skills that you can unlock. So at like the end game, you can unlock a runic cloak to build plans of. And then, uh, what is that? Extinct? What? Extinctor? A firearm is so overwhelmingly splendid that this gunsmith fell short to find a proper ad adjective, obviously. And then, royal trinket of life. Worn by kings and queens in use. So there's all sorts of really cool things in here that we can get as soon as we get more renown to go forward. The first thing we unlock is the actual water carrier. So we have to start at the bottom and go up. But now we can build the water carrier. We can go do that. This is the water material products and the water carrier hut. We can build it there or there. Let's go here because I want to destroy a tree. We'll rip apart a tree so we can build a water extractor. Hey, that's kind of a cool building, isn't it? See how fast we run out of building material? We are demanding more than a single quarry worker can handle, poor sod. Okay, so we're out of building material. Let's build some more. If nothing else, it'll give them someone else to talk to down at the inn. Neat. See how these areas are red? Like, there's areas around here that are red. These are actually things that we can expand into. Ooh, our current sector already looks a bit crowded. Time for another one, I think. To get a new sector, we have to find a brave person willing to do their duty in a watchtower. Okay. Our villagers won't go to a new sector without a bit of protection, which is fair enough. Use your renown to find a suitable mug. Um, I mean, brave and noble citizen. Cool, so we need to go back into here. Uh, we inspect a brave person node, unlock a new sector, build a new residence, and then start this. We can go in here, and we can see that... Uh, this over here, the brave person is unlocked, but the next one, a brave person, we need eight more renown to get a, a second brave person. Let's go ahead and go back, and now uh, open the building menu to build a watchtower. Watchtower would probably be in this one, right? Yep, there's the watchtower. And we can place these in different zones. Uh, like, we can put a watchtower there, we can put one there. I can't put one up there, I guess it's not connected. I haven't gotten that far in the, the campaign yet. So there's a couple areas. There's this one over here too, which is like a, a forest, so we don't have to go directly next to things. Oh, there's a cemetery over there. All sorts of different things on the map. Uh, I look forward to, to going through this on my own. Let's see, uh, let's put it right here. That'll be good. The village had expanded once again, like Anselm's waste. Now we have a, a new a new hero or brave guy so we don't have enough villagers we need to build a residence in a free spot so let's go ahead and build a residence there's all sorts of free spots let's put it back here in the forest that looks like a good spot open the building hut and select a Cory's worker hut so we have to build a new one which would be this guy right here and let's chop down the trees again very nice so our city That's is kind of coming along we should invest in other resources soon and the skill tree offers us a lot of opportunities for next time but now i'm afraid it's time to fight time to fight cool so we can look at we can look at this and uh, check it out so next time we'd either get oops we would either get the merchant's hall or the smithy i'm kind of partial to a smithy myself or the magister's machine machine i don't know how to pronounce that it's it's funny looking. Oh, how do I get out of here? Hey, there it is down here. Okay, perfect. So let's go to the world map and jump back out in the world map. And now we can check this one, the Plain Hills. Income per round, we get four renown, it looks like. This one is also four renown. Uh, and the mission is to fortify your defenses, set up defensive towers in this untamed land, protect the caravan. Eh. Escort the caravan to the new base location. Which one do we want to do? Let's go with this one, the Clover Fields. We'll go here. This one sounds interesting. And now we can pick our three heroes. Oh, these guys are kind of leveled up. We got a little bit of uh, green in there. We got some um, shield for him. For so I'm going to take you first, Vargas. Select inventory. Oh, those are those things. Yep. My and then we've got Unisala and Anselm here. Let's go ahead and select these and these. Uh, let's see. Can I put those in? And you choose three champions. Clicking on the champion will bring the champion to the front. 
Very good. Press go. Into battle. Our scouts report no sign of our enemies in this land, but that doesn't mean it will be easy to take it. The local bandits will likely offer some resistance, so we need to take some preemptive action. Repair all the ruined fortifications so we can strengthen our control over this territory. Very cool. So we've got, uh, looks like maps, we've got two objectives up here. The bonus objective is hidden. Huh. Alright, so let's continue. Let's go explore. Uh, what do we always do? Left? Oh, mm -hmm. yes. what are these little dudes? Oh, they're little goblins. That's cool. Glob goblin fledgling. Watch out, enemies ahead. So they're lightning. And lightning, if we look on this, lightning eats water and... Ooh, looks like she can eat up those guys pretty good. So let's get you in the front. We're going to charge like a boss. And then we're going to go ahead and use you to drop in some spells. And then we're going to kind of come over here. Ooh, that hurt. Uh, let's go ahead and do some QQ on this guy. Oh, that probably misses. Oh, it hit. Good. There we go. And now let's uh, switch over here. And we're going to blast them both. That worked pretty well. So this is a new skill. I guess you guys didn't see this, did you? We have a secondary skill now. This one's explosive arrowheads. You saw how she had little ticks. Um, okay. They're little uh, charges, I guess would be the best way to put it. We can check on this, and then once once you get to two arrows in there, she'll have there'll be two little ticks here next to it. There you go. See the two ticks. And we'll still charge up to any amount. Then we do this. This is a modifier that does additional 33 damage to each arrow. We can charge in here. We also have, it's called Cleave, which is Vigor. Vigor is, um, each of these guys have a secondary skill. Like, uh, we have Vigor, which is this charge. And we have some Divine Bells here. The divine Bells are good for using the Lightning Strike, which is a, a big area of effect. And it changes the element uh, unit to Lightning. So, um, does that make sense? Because these guys are element of lightning right now, it would change them, so if she got hit by it, it would change her to lightning for a limited amount of time. Kind of a cool system. Because she's in there getting hit. Let's go ahead and charge them. And now you, oh, you lost your divine bells. So let's go ahead and get some more. Okay, and F1, oh, there we go. And you're gonna charge up here. One and two, no will blast them both. 45 damage, that was awesome. And now you can use your big skill on this guy. And you missed. Good job. Congratulations, you. Well, that was easy. <laughs> There's a wild piggy. Let's go ahead and charge the piggy. Boom! Okay, what do we have? A little bit of QQ. Let's go ahead and switch over to her. I'm gonna use this on him as well. Why not? Just get a little bit of a charge up. You know, we can change the elemental efficiency, or element to... Let's do that, and it'll be lightning. And now we can use this, but that's not gonna work. <laughs> I was thinking we were gonna we we're gonna change up some stuff, but it wasn't really right. What is this thing? This is a teleporter. You found a God, teleporter, you can provide shortcuts. Through this I guess that moves it to there, a different wind. Oh, let's do that, because the mystery is up there. So let's go through here, to the gate. Oh, wow. Yes. Right. Okay, let's kill the dog. Get on in there. Go away. Okay, we're gonna use this to blast him right away. And you... This guy's main default weapon is not the same thing as his um, charge. So let's go up. Looks like there's two more teleporters here. Probably two more there. Let's go over to this. Get the mystery. Mm -hmm. Attack the piggy. Let's charge the piggy. So we knock it out a little bit. Hit him with this thing. Probably should have hit it with the other thing first. Oh well. Good. And now... Hit it! There we go. Good work. Let's go see what the mystery is up here. Ability cost? Yeah, I know. Whoa! The gods turn their faces from us. A no. monster. One-eyed hill giant. We're gonna take him out. Let's see, what does he have with him? A couple sheep? <laughs> and, oh, there's an entire cow on the spit roast. Or maybe it's a buffalo. I don't know. Ready to fight so he's lightning. Fight. Lightning is resistant, or er, not resistant. Yeah, it gets eaten by that. It's resistant oh, yeah. to water, right? Yeah. It attacks water, but it's... It attacks water really good, but water doesn't do much damage to it. Alrighty. How do we do this the best? I'm going to keep you attacking. Let's go ahead and put one of these down. 
And then you can blast him with this. It's not really going to do much. You're going to charge. Nice work. And then come back here. The sheep are dead. Go ahead and blast him with this thing. And now you... We're going to wait until he gets some more elements up. Oh, he's just charging. We have the, the nice little bolt. Did I talk about these either? Uh, these are little uh, ballistas you can put down in the healing potions. I don't think I did. Okay, now we're going to use her to blast him. There we go. And I'll attack again. Let's go ahead and use these guys' cooldowns. That works. Elemental change from one to another. Wow, you got hit really hard. Time to time to kite him. Time to kite. <laughs> whoop, whoop. Why does he have, like, hearts on his butt? Oh, that's like a little shield thing. Oh, I see a cool trick I learned. <laughs> Got a charge. Ow. That's really gonna hurt. Oh, boy. Oh, that was like a uh, big attack. Let's go ahead and charge him again. And keep on using this. And now you hit with that. So that charge kind of stuns a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and do this guy right here. I'm gonna use you to blast him. Oh, it missed. Oh, critical health condition. Don't die on me, Nasala. There. Good good healing time. Ow. Take him. Ouch. That really hurts. Move. Get out the way. <laughs> you can't. Well, attack him good. The Q button. Boom. I think we'll do it. Oh, you use a big one. There. Nice. We killed the big guy. Critical damage. Invigorated us. Invigorated? Do we get some bonus? Are we healing? Courage. Oh, that's cool. So there I don't know if there's any loot in the game. I guess we could come across here. Yeah, let's go kill these little dudes. We'll charge in. Uh let's let's hit this first. We are under attack. That was good. And now we're gonna charge, knock them back, and then you can come in here and use your skill on them. Good work. Get your charge is up. Change your target. And now we got three on each. Kaboom. That was awesome. Good work. So let's get back this way. The righteous one in the end. Yes, this will work. And then we'll go through the portal, and that'll take us to the other side. The other side, and we can go up here. <laughs> yes, we kill this dude. Do we have to? No. Into the teleporter we go. It's kind of weird. We don't have to kill everything. Uh, that's awesome. Let's go down here. I guess we could if we really wanted to, to experience bonus points. So I'm going to move up. We are a little bit low on health. We're going to drop down a ballista right here. And now we're going to have to use one of these guys to attack them. Curse these fiends. Not bad. Hit them. Now charge. Oh, I missed one of them. Go ahead and zap this far guy. What? Come on. Use your move. That was good. And now Nasala's gonna blast him. Boom! And you're gonna hit him with this, and then you're gonna hit him with that. Even though it's a waste. Neat. So let's target this thing. I should heal these guys up a little bit. It's pretty good. Okay, they're coming from this way. Let's get in a good position. Let's do the same thing. As always, oh, they're just going to straight up target it. Okay, I got hit. Do a charge in. Nice work. Go ahead and blast him up. Good job on that. Attack this guy. So that's fire. Or they have shield. Fire damages them very nicely. I'm going to blast him. That was a 73 hit. Wow. He's down. We have 28%. We're building up the watchtower. That just slowly ticks over time. And then we need to get these guys that are coming up here. Okay. Yes. Go ahead and target them. We'll beat them a little bit. And I want you to come over here and knock them down. I want you to come over here and knock them. I want you to come over here and knock them down. I want you to stop and knock them down. Thank you. And now you can blast them like this. You have some charges up. Let's go ahead and nuke them. Good work. That was awesome. Yes. Okay. okay. New enemies arriving. What is it? And I'll pause it again. 
Um, I guess they're just gonna attack that here. Oh, I can't charge it. Whatever. One. Two. Oh, I'm not using my, my skill. There we go. I'll change him. Very good. I want you to attack him again. And we're gonna nuke him here in a second. A boom. So the nuke wasn't as effective because he is now lightning. New enemies arrived on the other side. Here they come. Just one little one little monkey. Good work, nice arrow hit. Might as well blast him. New enemies arriving yet again. So many bad guys want to attack us. Back here. Come back so our ballista does something. Let's go ahead and pop a healing potion again. Just like Manny used to make. Marvelous. Okay, come on in. Um. Hmm. Watch out. There. Let's do that. We'll attack. Come on over here, and then we'll attack from the side. Yeah. There we go. Now they're all lined up for her. Relatively. Come on this way. A nice arrow blast in there. Oh, they moved right at the last time. They just destroyed our... Oh, they almost just destroyed our ballista. And blast this dude. Nice job. I'm gonna go ahead and nuke him. That worked well. Nice. God's forgive we did it. We did it. Was fun. <laughs> so there's our watchtower. All built up, ready to go. And on the way here, there's a wild piggy. Let's kill the piggy. I don't really want to charge him, but we'll just nuke him with the that attack. And we might as well blast him. It <laughs> did a power up. How did you get a power up? We'll press the button, make the mission complete. To fight. And then bad guys are coming from this way. I should do a ballista again. Okay, I'm gonna let these guys come in here. I'm gonna give you a healing potion. Quite horrible. And then effective. I guess we're gonna charge. Let's not charge quite yet. We'll do this. Come on back. Get back here. Okay, that worked better. Come on up. And now you are gonna attack both of them. You're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna bring you over and you're gonna attack. Come on back, and now you're gonna use this thing. We're gonna blast him dead. Nice. Oh, that was perfect timing there, big fella. You're the MVP of the match. Yes. Stack this guy. Get wrecked. So we're getting a little gold off of him. Um, whatever that is. Lightning damage, I think. That's what that means. Maybe. New enemies arrived. Back this way again. Hey, shoot it. Ha. <laughs> I just want our ballista to work, so we don't have to use other resources. Come on over. Uh, let's charge. Knock these guys back. I did try before to knock them off the cliff. That didn't seem possible. So um, take that for what it's worth. Don't move. Oh, he's down. That was really close. Um. <laughs> you missed again, you turd nugget. Hey, guys are coming in from both sides, it looks yes, like. Yes. We'll nuke this guy pretty quick. Blast him. Good. Oh, they're just... It's a patrol up here. 67% completed. New enemies have arrived. Same place. Not bad. It's our... Oh, our ballist is gone. Three more guys. Yeah, Let's go ahead and charge him. Onwards. Like this. Enemies. Good work. Sounds like there's someone behind us. Nope. Hit both of them. Q on you. And now let's new Q. Oh, that doesn't do too much. I probably should just nuke him like this. There it is. Tower's almost up. More bad guys? Doesn't look like we're gonna get any more bad guys. 96, 97, 98. 
So we could continue getting the rest of the guys on the map if we wanted to for more resources um, before doing both watchtowers, but I don't really want to. So we won! What a victory! Cracking stuff! Really strong there in the um, dying moments. So we got 34 gold, plus the 30 gold from the bonus reward, and then uh, 8 nature material. So that is a crafting material that we can use on other things. Okay, so we are back in the main map of uh, our little Champions of Anteria gameplay. Uh, we have our essences up here. There's the nature essences that we got. We have four building materials. We have two villagers for watchtowers. You know, if we really wanted to, we could move into our base. Oh, we'd have to end the day first, and then we can move in and do additional things. But that is for a different time. If you guys want to go ahead and play the beta, go ahead and check out the link down below in the video descriptions for Champions of Anteria. Again, this has been a sponsored video, and I really do appreciate you guys watching it. If you liked it, let me know. Check out the game, give the devs some love, and keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time. <laughs>